It ended 3-2 on the night to Atletico Madrid, uh, 4-2 on aggregate in the end. Um, disappointing, disappointing, honestly, because we had in more than enough chances. We had more than enough chances in the very first half. Honestly, one of the best displays I've seen us do over 90 minutes in a lot in quite a while, to be honest. Um, you know, it, it, it was very, very good. And even in the, in the little first part of extra time as well, obviously Bobby Firmino getting his goal uh, as well. Gini Wijnaldum coming up with a header in the, in the first half, just before half time as well. It looked like it was ready for us to, you know, to sort of make that progression. The problem is... We had a lot of shots, quite a few on target. We just could put, couldn't put them in the back of the net. Um, I'm not laying the blame all at Adrian's door either, um, and I don't think anyone else should be really. A lot of people, obviously, are. You know what the internet's like um, with how reactionary people are, and people saying ridiculous things like they don't want to see Adrian in a Liverpool shirt ever again. Yet they completely forget in 11 Premier League games this season, he's got 11 Premier League wins. So, and he will be playing against Everton as well, whether people like it or not, because Alisson won't be fit. Um, so I'm not going to lay it all at Adrian's door, I'm not. There were, the fact that we had so many chances and didn't put it in the back of the net, you put it down to two things. One, we weren't, we didn't necessarily take the best shooting options. Sometimes it's going straight at the keeper, you know, or maybe there's, a, there's another, there's an extra pass that someone could have made and they could have played someone else in. Salah could have played Mane in, Mane could have played Salah in. There's there's all these variables that you know you could do in the moment a little bit differently that makes things a little bit more clinical. The second thing is that Jan Oblak had an absolute world-class game. He uh, he honestly did. He had m what must have been one of the games of his lives. And there's a reason why he is one of one of if not definitely up there one or two of one of the best goalkeepers in the world because he is a fantastic goalkeeper he really is and he showed his worth um, last night as well with the chances that he kept out um so for us to go 2-1 up in the in the tie it was good but we should we needed to go 2-1 up in 90 minutes as soon as they scored the goal that took it to 2-2 and meant that Atletico would have been going through you could see that we sort of deflated a little bit like, we still had chances after that, but you could just literally just see, like, it's almost like an adrenaline dump happened. Like, you've done all this work, you've worked so hard, you've got in front, everything seems to be going okay, and then just a little lapse in concentration and a, and a mistake, obviously, that was capitalised on. Um, really, not soon after, we'd scored either as well. Obviously, Anfield was rocking at that point. And it basically was like someone picked up a controller and just hit mute when they scored their goal. Um, I don't know what Adrian was doing um, to kick it out that far. Uh, I, I don't even... Was that the goal that he kicked out and they just ran back at us? I can't remember. I can't remember the the, um, the sequence of events of you know the, the goals that they scored. At the end of the day... You know, there were mistakes made. It's one of those things. People are obviously saying, oh, it's a tale of two goalkeepers and all this sort of stuff. And yeah, it is. These mistakes don't happen if Allison, Allison is in goal. That is true. But even so, things like this are going to happen. Your first team goalkeeper is going to get injured every now and again. It's very rare, but it will happen. Um, your number two will come in and do a job, but your number two is never going to be as good as your as your first, you know, your first choice goalkeeper. Why? Because if they were as good as your first choice goalkeeper, they'd be playing as a first choice goalkeeper for someone else. They don't tend to stick around just to sit on the bench, you know. So it is unfortunate. It really is unfortunate. And I I hope in so I really hope that the abuse that keeps going Adrian's way. First off, I hope he can sort of take it on the chin or ignore it, um, but I hope it stops, first of all. Support the players in this time, you know, because I truly believe he he did his best, you know, and made two mistakes, maybe three mistakes, if anything. You know, the ball that got kicked back out along the ground to the player 
and then when he slipped to make the save, um, and it's just, yeah, it's, yeah, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate. But it takes nothing away from the fight that we put on in that game, and now it doesn't act, it doesn't lessen what we achieved this season. It really doesn't lessen what we achieved this season. A lot of people will be, you know, disappointed at the fact that. Uh, we're not going to go and win the Champions League and win the Premier League in one season. It's difficult to do. It really is difficult to do. I don't remember the last time a Premier League winner won the Champions League in the same season. I genuinely don't remember when that last happened. It's difficult to do. It really is honestly difficult to do. You see La Liga teams and Bundesliga teams, maybe they've done it as well. Because their leagues are far easier that they normally dominate. The only reason that La Liga isn't is because the two top teams are actually struggling. You know, they're actually their their quality is lesser than it has been in recent years. But normally, you got top two teams in say Bundesliga, La Liga, even League One with PSG. Their leagues are so easy, so much easier than the Premier League. They're normally like many many points ahead of their nearest rival that they could probably actually just sack off their league a little bit, rotate quite a lot, and then they can play the absolute freshest team that they possibly can in the Champions League. That's why you maybe see, you know, like a Barcelona would win La Liga and would also win the Champions League and stuff like that in the same in the same season. But it's, it's difficult to do. So the expectation um, that maybe some Liverpool fans had of us going on and winning the Champions League as well as winning the Premier League, they're the two biggest trophies in club football you have to understand how difficult we found it to win the champions league last season how difficult it was we had to come back massively against the barcelona team and we were three nil down look we came back in this game mistakes cost us the reason i sit here and i'm all right with that and you might be like why are you all right with going out i'm not all right with going out i'm not all right with going out but I can rest easy knowing that I can pinpoint where the, what, what happened and why we went out. It's more difficult when you can't turn around and say, man, how, how have we gone out here? How are we out of this competition at this stage? How has this happened? We can literally sit here and say, look, if this doesn't happen, we'd most likely go through. Take it on the chin, move on. We've got Everton coming up on Monday, got to get prepared for that, and then it's international break after that as well. So, you know, we've got to get ourselves back up for the Merseyside derby, and I think that they will. I think the players themselves will also know that was one of the best displays that they've put on in recent times, and it was literally just mistakes, just little mistakes that really cost us against what is a top team in Atletico Madrid. People can, you know, you can criticise how Atletico Madrid play, how they decide to go about their football, at the end of the day, it works for them. They go through, and whoever they face in the next round will have a difficult game. I don't care what any reporters say online or anything like that, saying that this Atletico Madrid team is, isn't, isn't anything to shout about. Play them. When they're at their top level, at their Diego Simeone best, they are exceptionally difficult. And if they end up getting drawn against, I don't know, they get drawn against the PSG or whoever goes through in the next set of games, I don't know. But whatever happens, they will have a tough game. They absolutely will have a tough game. So, listen, um, I'll do Merseyside Derby preview. That'll probably come out tomorrow or Saturday. I'm not entirely sure when. Um, starting to get the voice back a little bit. Starting to feel a little bit there. A bit, little bit less crap, anyway. But, um, but yeah, don't get too down on the result, honestly. Winning the Champions League and the Premier League in the same season, what a dream that would be. But it's difficult to do, and we've shown that we can't do it this year. But let's get our focus back on the Premier League and see what we can do there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How do you feel about last night? I genuinely don't feel that down about it because we actually fought. You know, if we rolled over, then yeah, I'd probably feel a bit a bit worse about it. But we, we fought hard and we just didn't have it in the last... The, the extra time, the last 15 minutes of extra time. So, let me know what you think in the comments below, and once again, thank you guys for watching these videos. That is it for the end of the... This is the end of the Champions League videos for now. It's probably going to have a couple more videos through the week just talking about general Liverpool things instead of European football. But, for now, I am out of here. I'm going to go get some breakfast. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.